Hi, this micro lecture is on types of ionizing radiation. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and do your follow-up questions on Google Forms. All right, so the three major types of radiation emitted during nuclear decay um, are the following. First one is an alpha particle. So if you think about a nucleus of an atom, we've gotten rid of the electrons here, and we're just looking at all the protons and neutrons in the center. Uh, sometimes when they're unstable, they emit uh, an alpha particle. An alpha particle is basically a chunk of that nucleus. It's two protons, here are the red ones, and two neutrons, the blue circles right there. That makes it effectively a helium ion, meaning if you took away the uh, electrons from a helium atom, that's effectively what's being shot out of uh, a nucleus as a type of radiation. Now, because it doesn't have any electrons on it, uh, it has a charge of positive 2. Um, it moves significantly slower than the other radiation we're going to talk about um, because it's so heavy in comparison. Now, because it moves kind of on the slow side comparatively, and because it has a charge of positive 2, so fairly high charge in that sense, it's very easily absorbed. And we'll talk more about how far it can go in air a little bit later. The next type of radiation we're going to talk about is a beta particle. Now, a beta particle is essentially an electron. So one of the neutrons here inside um, can eject an electron and turn into a proton in that process. So a beta particle is basically an electron. Um, it has a charge of negative 1. It is very fast moving compared to an alpha particle. Um, and it's easily ish absorbed because of its charge. The last type we'll talk about are gamma rays. Now, when we talk about gamma rays, also think X-rays as well. Um, now, gamma rays are not particles. It's an EM wave, so an electromagnetic wave. It has no charge, and it moves extremely fast. Now, these are the three major types of radiation emitted when a um, nucleus of an atom is unstable and it decays radioactively in that sense. Now, each of these three things can go uh, different amounts of distance in air or through different materials. So alpha particles tend to only go about a few centimeters in air. That's like an inch or two in air. Um, and it can basically be stopped by skin or uh, a piece of paper. So if you have something that's emitting a bunch of alpha particles and you're really nervous about it, literally just like wad up the thing in paper and you're good. Or put it in a cardboard box and you're pretty much good. Beta particles, because they are a little bit smaller and uh, less charged, go a little bit further in air. It's also because they're moving faster as well. So they'll go about a couple meters in air. So between one and three meters are most um, uh, what most reports say. Uh, they can effectively be stopped by a thin sheet of aluminum. Um, so you think like a really thick aluminum foil or just kind of like a real thin like plate of aluminum or a can, like wall of aluminum or whatever for like a, a soda can. Um, and that effectively would stop beta particles. The last one we'll talk about, gamma rays. They can go up to several hundred meters in air. Um, so here on our image, we can see that it goes through skin, paper, um, it goes through aluminum, uh, and really it takes a thick amount of lead um, or like feet of concrete and soil to really block gamma radiation. So for that reason, uh, gamma radiation, much harder to contain, often considered the most dangerous. Um, however, alpha particles can be extremely dangerous uh, if it ends up in a food source or something along those lines. Uh, beta particles, also dangerous too, um, but oftentimes used in medical uh, devices, uh, mainly because it can go through skin, so skin doesn't stop it. Uh, we can use it to help trace the path of a chemical going through somebody's body or something along those lines. That's it for this one. Um, three or more bullet points worth of notes and a one to two sentence summary, please.